Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another cross gantry 3D printer video. So in this episode, we are actually gonna be putting a back panel on this 3D printer. I need this for cooling and I also need this to mount the main board somehow. If you'll notice, I have designed and 3D printed out some corners for this printer. Um, I've decided to actually do it a two piece design here and you can see there is some accent pieces in here. I'm hoping to carry this over to the full size printer so that you can like have colored accents and stuff like that. But if you'll notice, something is definitely missing uh, in this uh, back section here. We need the acrylic. So let's go ahead and cut the acrylic out on my new Tuca L2 diode laser. Before I show you that, I would like to thank PCBWay for sponsoring this video. PCBWay isn't just a PCB manufacturer. They do CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. Let's take a look at their 3D printing service. Let's go ahead and upload a part for CAPI. This is the Dragon Burner mount. We're going to go ahead and choose a quantity of one. We can choose the type of material we'd like it printed in. We'll go ABS. We're going to choose black and let's go 40% infill. You can go ahead then and submit a request and it's just that simple. Thanks again to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. All right, here is my Tuca 20 watt diode laser. Big thanks for, to Tuca for sending this to me. We're going to do some acrylic panel cutting. And I just wanted to show off this laser as it's quite impressive. Um, overall, I was very, very impressed with the build quality. It's all CNC aluminum and very thick five millimeter acrylic. The enclosure is very high quality. We have gas shocks, as you can see here. We have foam around to keep the fumes in and we have a nice fume extraction system at the back. They too provide you with an actual tube so that you can put it out a window or a door or something like that. What's very impressive is the attention to detail that Tuca has here for their actual package. We can see here a very nice organized accessory box with all of the tools, cords, everything neatly packed. What's more impressive is the actual manual. I've never seen a really nice full page color manual with any of these diode lasers. This is a very, very impressive manual that has a lot of attention to detail and is very nice to assemble the printer and also use the printer. Everything comes nice and packaged in cardboard boxes, plenty of styrofoam, and this is a very easy laser to assemble. A couple other features I wanna show off here, we'll take a look at. Of course, we have air assist. This is a little bit different implementation. We have a on off air assist with selectable speed, so we can have as much air assist as we like, which is very, very nice. You can see the air assist hose here on the 20 watt tool head. What's very nice is the actual three millimeter leveling arm is built into the laser. We can see this magnetic arm here, which drops down and magnetizes into the correct position. We can now go over to the other side and actually loosen the laser tensioning lever so that we get our perfect height here. We're gonna lock in our three millimeter setting. And then we simply just flip up the block there. It's nice out of the way. You'll never lose it. And three millimeter thickness is your most common thickness for engraving and cutting. You'll also notice on the tool head, we have a USB-C cable, which is fastened with M3 bolts, so this is not gonna fall out. Very, very nice to see that. And on the right-hand side of the machine here, we have our power button. We have our TFT card slot. 
We have our USB cable going to my computer. We have power. And then we have a neat uh, safety feature here, which is a USB dongle that acts as a key. So this dongle must be inserted into the laser before you turn it on for the device to work. In the back, we can see our very nice fan extraction system here with a generous amount of hose to actually go out a door or window. And here is a better look at the aluminum construction of the actual diode laser. It's using grooved rollers on aluminum profiles. Very, very smooth, very high quality motion. Here you can see the nice LED strips that illuminate the workspace. I'm going to now take you into the Tuca Studio. Here is the Tuca Studio browser-based software. Of course, these lasers do work with Lightburn if you want to use Lightburn, but if you're a beginner, I think this makes a lot of sense. Uh, this is a totally browser-based solution, and it works very well. It has pretty much all the features that you would need. Of course, if you do want to purchase Lightburn and use that, you, you definitely can, but um, I find this quite handy and it's nice that it is browser-based. You don't have to worry about installing software or anything like that. We can see I've imported my DXF file right from Fusion. I just went up to File and I chose Import. And we can see here we have a DXF. Everything's looking great. We can go over onto the right-hand side here and we can actually set up how we want the laser to operate. So I actually want to do a cut and I want to do this at 600 millimeters per minute. I want 100% power and I want to do six passes because I am keeping the sticker backing on the acrylic. So we can see how our cut here, 600 millimeters per minute, 100% power. And what I like to do is I like to highlight everything and just right click and group them so that everything's grouped as one and you'll know if you move it around everything moves with it even though I'm just clicking on the outside we can see that all of my features are moving around so this is a great uh, tool for people who just want to get started and you don't have to configure install a whole bunch of things up here you can see connect device if I click on this I can actually choose the port my laser is connected to and I can actually connect and then I'll see a uh, start button down here as well as a frame button. Here I'm going to show off the frame feature so that we can see where our cuts are going to be. Very handy feature on this laser. Of course, Tuca does offer a add-on camera module I would really like to see this included in this laser package. I think a camera is pretty standard and it should be implemented as part of the default L2 package. All right, here's our cut done. I did six passes at 600 millimeters per minute at 100% power. And of course I had the uh, air assist on there too, just to make sure cuts are really, really nice and clean. So as you can see, we have perfect cut. Uh, definitely take your time. This only took 13 minutes. It's like obviously not very long. If uh, It's quicker than a 3D printer, of course. And uh, yeah, we have all of our holes. 
Let's go take this and mount it on. And here we have the laser cut acrylic back panel. Really great fitment, super precise as you would expect from a diode laser. Really great tool for cutting panels on 3D printers. Now, if you are looking for a laser to help you cut panels or cut wood or that type of thing, they are a handy tool to have in your toolbox. I really enjoy using mine and uh, they've definitely helped me out on projects like this. So thanks everyone for watching. Now that I have this panel, I hopefully can start mounting electronics, getting my cooling all sorted out, and you should hopefully see this printing very soon. Thanks everyone.